The mother takes her little baby out of his coffin during the funeral to hug and kiss him for the last time. But what happened next shocked everyone. Everyone in that room witnessed that picture so tender and loving and at the same time so tragic and sad. In a coffin lay little Mercedes, stiff and cold, her pale cheeks dry and lifeless, and her mother Isabel, who felt a deep pain that overwhelmed her and robbed her of air. The scene was sad and pitiful. Isabel's disconsolate crying filled the space with the whole place. The woman approached the coffin and began to say words full of the most tender feelings to her little girl. She could not accept the fact that her little girl, who was just beginning her life, who had all the vitality of childhood, and who had a world ahead of her, was lying stiff and lifeless there, on that deathbed. She could not accept that she would never see her again or hold her in her arms. Everyone present was moved to tears. But how had Isabel and her child come to be in that situation? That was the big question. How had it been possible for that little girl, so full of life, to be veiled in that coffin? How had it all happened? Everyone there knew Isabel and Rodolfo. She was the daughter of a small farmer who earned his living with his hard work from sunrise to sunset in order to feed his four children, of whom Isabel was the eldest. Rodolfo was the son of the owner of the only grocery store in town. Whenever Isabel's father arrived to stock up on groceries, he brought his daughter with him. Between those casual and sporadic encounters, the love that years later would unite them in marriage was born. Time went by and when they came of age, they decided to unite their lives. Rodolfo and Isabel married and moved to the capital of the province, since his father had expanded his business and wanted his son to take charge of that enterprise. The couple saw this as an opportunity to start their new life. A few months passed and for Isabel, life away from everything she knew had affected her to such an extent that she began to suffer from severe depression. Not long after, Isabel became pregnant. Little Mercedes was born, and joy came to that home. Children are the greatest gift we can receive from the Most High and can fill any void that exists in our hearts. Isabel was completely happy. She devoted herself completely to the care of the child, and she grew and grew stronger until she was old enough to go to kindergarten. Mercedes was a very healthy and lively child. Her playfulness and mischief were a reflection of the vigor and health they enjoyed. One day, Little Mercedes fell off a chair in which she was playing and got a small bruise on her knee that made it impossible for her to walk. For a few days she was in bed, but Isabel and her husband assumed that her lack of movement was due to the blow and the pain she was in. The days continued to pass and the girl was not only lying in bed, but also sleeping and without energy. Something was wrong with Little Mercedes and she was taken by her parents to the hospital. Upon arrival, preliminary tests revealed that the little girl was suffering from profound anemia, an abnormally low platelet count and a high number of red blood cells. Those results in the persistent pain in the girl's leg made doctors suspicious. Further tests were performed and the doctor's fears were realized. Acute myelogenous leukemia was the devastating diagnosis. She is particularly affected in the bones and joints. That news was catastrophic for the parents. The possibility of the loss of a child is one of the greatest fears that can exist in life. The prospect of burying one of our children is simply terrifying. The little girl underwent intense chemotherapy sessions that wreaked havoc on the little girl's tiny body. Little Mercedes began to lose weight to such an extent that her life began to be in danger. The parents' pain was totally indescribable. Like a beautiful flower that was beginning to wilt, the child's life began to slowly pay for itself. Life was slowly slipping away from her little body. After four months of an intense fight against cancer, the little girl surrendered to death. The pain that Isabel and Rodolfo experienced was totally indescribable. The death of a child is one of the greatest pains a human being can experience. Those parents sank into a sea of pain and despair. And there, Isabel was gripped by the deepest sorrow that was impending her innermost being. The mother's heart was engulfed in grief and the loss of her little angel. Suddenly, she stood up and went to the coffin. Everyone followed her with their eyes witnessing the scene of grief that was opening before them. Isabel approached the coffin and began to say sweet and loving words to her little one. My pretty little thing, my beautiful little heart, my pretty little angel, the woman said to her almost unconsciously and as if forgetting that she was dead. 
Isabel took the girl out of the coffin and giving her a deep hug, she said, My pretty girl, my tender, my sweetness. And kissing her tenderly on the cheek, she returned her to the coffin. And she, a few seconds later, fainted, unable to bear the terrible tension in her heart when she felt that her little girl was stiff and frozen. Everyone present gave way to tears. In life, the pain of losing a child is indescribable. We should always give them all the love, time and attention they deserve and take the best care of them. It is the precious gift given to us by the Supreme Being. If you like this story, give us a like, leave us a comment and share this story with all your friends and family. And don't forget to stay on our channel and enjoy more shocking stories like the one you just enjoyed. Talk to you soon.